racing for third, and he's done it. He's clean a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. Now from the home of the Rangers, there's a good look at Globe Life Park here in Arlington. Today, the third and final game in Dylan Bundy. A right-hander from the Sooner State gets the starting assignment here. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, game, he pitched into the sixth inning, threw the ball great, had electric stuff when he needed to, pitched out of some tough jams, and pitched well enough to get the W. So I think we'll see tonight really firsthand what kind of pitcher he is. We get to see it firsthand. Center fielder. Now zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded by a door. So gets him two down. Stepping in. Didi Gray. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Pereira is going to have room out there as he puts this away. Sheffield is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. HR, what's the word on him? Well, this is going to be a chance. The bullpen's coming through. It looks like they're, they're rested. They're doing the things they need to do to really be a winning club right now. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on. Ready with two balls and a strike. On the ground to the left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Here's J.D. Martinez. Good opportunity. Ready with another 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that is a base hit as the run will come in to score from third. And the Rangers will take a one to nothing lead. And they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. Here's Joey Gallo now. Looking for another try at 2-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Here's Rognet Odorn. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that is in the right field. The base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Well, he really picked his teammate up right there with two outs and following a strikeout to get the base hit. Pulls right. it in. It's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Takes this the other way to right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. That base hit was his 800th RBI of his career. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a liner. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he still got a ground ball. They got the base hit. He got his ground ball. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Grounded to short. Gregorius is there. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Digging in now, Gary Sanchez. Could do anything about it. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. So striding forward now. Yeah. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout, and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So it's right at 290 to begin the day. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Martinez on the run, and that retires the side. So the here's the center fielder. Well, usually early in the count. You're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball uses a put-away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. There to take it is Gregorius for the first down. Digging in for his zone on two and two, and 
bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Austin is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two to miss, but that ball's right in this wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Number 76 is under it, and he makes the catch. In is Joey Votto now. He's the number seven. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. High pop up. A door under it to put it away for the first down. Downing eight. Right field. Now at the plate, right Tyler. Down. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. And here's Jose Peraza. See a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Ready for another windup and the 1 0 pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Stepping in. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And this is popped high in the air toward the left side. Ramirez is there for it, makes the play one away. Riding. And this one gets away. Grounded to the right. Throw in time at first for route number two. Here's Elvis Andrews starts to loosen up. Here comes the first pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Frazier coasts under it. He makes the play and that'll end the end. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. Back. No doubt Jose about that, Matt. They've Ramirez. yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. On the ground to third. Played on the backhand. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Didi Gregorius. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field. And you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Reed Hoskins 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys. Number 76. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. This guy's such a good. is Joey Votto now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize. So stepping in, the one and two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Frazier will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. How about it? Mixing in your off-speed stuff. Falling behind 3 and 0 to the wrong guy right here. You don't want to mess around with him. You know he's going to have the green light. You throw one inside, he still might turn and burn. Set to deliver on 3 0. He pulls this one into right. In there, a base hit. Well, that base hit right there gives him a nine game hitting streak. Thomas Gallo answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Frazier is there. He makes the catch and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. 
And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. The right fielder number. Hard liner toward short. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. In to score, the runner from third. So he's able to come through here with two away, and that's a good time to check out our heart. Ready with the 0-2. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start. At the plate, Tyler Bat. He is really making him work. Hit out towards second. Odor has it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter number and 13. here's Jose Peraza. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hit down the third baseline. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Well that base hit right there now extends his streak to nine. He's ready. Here's the 1 0 hit hard to the right side. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now. Clint Frazier. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Ready once again. Drilled on the ground to short. Andrus fields it cleanly, and the two out threat will not come to pass. Here's Joey Gallo. Rupnet Odor will be next. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Now a flare out toward right center. Peraza ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Ready for Your Ronald Guzman. We'll get the call. This AB hasn't been any different. Oh, no. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swing and a miss strike three. It's there. He's out trying to take. Your Ronald Guzman will this stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Gary Sanchez will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run. The wind up and the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Judge is under it. He's got it one away. Ready once again. Nothing in one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching every patient to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Down the third baseline. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two. Ready for enough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Frazier has it in his tracks. Two down. Up next for the Ranger, Giancarlo Stanton. I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Oh, uh, and he lets right. him off the Fielder hook there. They're keeping it inside on him. All even at two and two. Here it is. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Austin over to his right, and that ends the inning. One left. Welcome back to Arlington. The Rangers on top. And now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone. Home run. Tyler Austin. Sent out to straightaway center field. Herrera's there. One out. The batter number 13. Ready for an even at two and two. 
lofted in the air out toward right center. Martinez has a read on it. Two gone. Now batting. Digging in once at Strom. We'll get the ball here as he looks to get the final out. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen. Kelvin Herrera gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Kelvin Herrera. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Votto will get under it to put it away just past the first base dugout, and that's out number one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Balls on the outside half. You go with the pitch. Old school textbook now hitting. Back. Here's Rognet Odor now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Frazier racing back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Gallo is on his way home. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Here's Elvis, one man out. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. At the plate. Out here, you don't want them to drive in a run, and you go down four. You keep it at three, you still got a chance to break it open and win on a big inning. And that's in there, base hit. Now a long throw home. Safe at the plate as they tack on one more to make it 7-3 now. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Another leadoff guy. He's battled himself right back into this at bat now. With two outs, he's got a chance to get up, go ahead and drive in a couple runs. Sanchez has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Digging into him, and a miss, good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. A ball hit to Andrus at short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Martinez there to put it away for round number two. At the plate, Reed Hoskins, Pedro Stroke, will come on in relief here and appear in game number. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Oh, he brought it back. Number 62 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 62. Digging low now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Skied into straightaway right. Giving chase is Austin. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. Settling in now. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Under it, Gregorius. And that's out number two. The right fielder into the box 20. now. J Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to. Fortunately, he just fouled it off. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Hit hard to short. Andrus has it. On to first, and Votto's gone for out number two. Up next for the Yankees. Digging right in, over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And this afternoon.
Hurricanes game ends 7 to 3. The Texas Rangers pick up win number 13th of the year. Sheffield couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll just about do it. Inside the show. Here's the 0 1. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome to Inside the Show. It's the wild day that is the trade deadline. Starting out west in the American League, the Rangers hit three long balls as they knocked out the Fighting Phils 9-3. to three. The Royals totaled third. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. The trade deadline has come and gone. Here's a recap of what happened on and off the field yesterday. Starting in the AL West, Sean Pinto got win number one on the year, helping lead Philadelphia past Texas 5-3. The Angels total 11 hits as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, Odubel Herrera was a force at the plate driving in three runs, helping lead Texas against the Phillies 7-2. He is currently riding a 12-game hitting streak. Right now, the Rangers are leading the AL West. They are more than 10. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL West, Yulieski Gurriel launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total, leading the Strohs to a win over the Rangers, 7-4. He extended his hitting streak to a modest six straight games. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Astros dropped four home runs in this one as they got the win in a laugher against the Rangers, 11-4. The win was their sixth in a row. In other Astros news, catcher...